Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Vision Quest. I just got done playing through uh, 50 games worth of Wii Shovelware and my eyes can no longer feel joy. So I was thinking, why not we play some Fire Emblem Vision Quests with coins? So, yeah, let's get down. Hooray! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that is a... Oh my god. I would never, after playing through... Shovelware. After I'm playing through so much Shovelware, I would never wish it upon my worst enemy. So Zev, if you're watching this video, just know, I would never wish it upon you. <laughs> He's not your enemy. Well, that I know of. <laughs> but, uh... The... <laughs> now, I'm curious what we shovelware games you're forced to play. Oh, easy. I got the list. Let me bring it up. Oh, right. <laughs> I think I know what some of them are. There are some really bad ones that I recall. Yep, and I got the I got a. They were some made by Data Design. I don't know if you heard of them. I think they're the ones who made Ninja Bread Man. Yep. Right? Yep. They are. They be, they were the masters of Wii Shovelware because they just used the same engine for Ninja Bread Man. Pallet swapped it with a bunch of other games. And no one was the wiser, unless, of course, you're a masochist. Oh my god. Like, seriously, I, after playing through so much Shovelware, I actually had to think about where, how did my life get to this point? Well, you see, Ludacris is your number one fan, and you have to do it for the fan. So. I can't back down from a challenge. So, uh, okay, let's see. Now, the next challenge is I want you to get coronavirus. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Yeah, seriously, that's not something you should joke about. Yeah. I mean, I mean, me and Lou, Chris, like, like this was a, this was like a birthday gift. I don't know how this was a gift to him, but I fulfilled it. That's all I can say. I fulfilled it. So let me bring up this list. It's kind of loading Google Documents. Yeah, so I apologize on that bad joke, but let's see, listen to that list. You're full, of, full of bad oh. jokes. Is what I mean. It's like I'm a dad or something. Wait, well, you're not a dad as far as you know. That I know of. Luckily, I'm a bastard son out there. How how scary would it be if freaking Alex was my bastard son? Since we seem to get along so well. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I don't think I would look at myself the same again. All how right. did I end up all the way in Yonkers? <laughs> that okay. must have been some. Uh, that, that must have been some uh, road trip. Must have been one crazy spring break. Hmm. So the first one was uh, Chicken Shoot. Oh, yes, I knew that would be on there. Yeah. Oh, what a shitty game. So, yeah, if you ever wanted a game where you're just uh, fucking killing chickens, well, do I have a game for you? It's like the KFC simulator, except Colonel Sanders wasn't approved. I mean, to be fair, I mean, like, the game does what it says. I mean, you're just murdering chickens. And I remember those late 2000s at GameStop when looking at the Wii game selection. That was always up on the presentation for best sell or not best sellers, uh, best deals because it was like a less than ten dollars and they were doing their best to sell that shit. Yeah. Uh, next up is uh, We Play. I don't know why Ludacris considered it shovelware, but all right. Everyone really hated We Play when it came out because it was like just a bunch of tech demo mini games, and the only reason why it sold well was because it was bundled with a Wii remote. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, so I, I mean, I saw the deal. It wasn't that bad. Well, I mean, like, you need to have more than just a new controller for a game for me. Like, to me, that's just a shitty game. That they knew the only way to make people buy it was to literally have an extra controller. Yeah, like, Ludacris said that, he, like, he was playing, like, Find Me, and, and he, his first thought to himself after playing was, like, I spent $250 on this system. Wow, he got it at launch, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. That was like one of those uh, 2006, 2007 games when people were waiting for Mario Galaxy. Yeah. So next up, uh, Minute to Win It. That sounds like a... Okay, I'm going to... I've never heard of this, but I'm going to guess. Is that like some uh, basketball game? No, it's literally a game show. <gasps> okay, thank God. Okay, yeah, that is shovelware, but it doesn't sound as bad as the other ones. So that's like a tolerable bad. All right, let's see. It's rank amongst chicken shoot and we play so far. Let's see. Um, Balls of Fury. That I remember because that was up next to chicken shoot. 
where the make people buy the game, they offered movie tickets for the movie. What? And let me tell you, the movie last time I checked was a flop. So what does oh. that tell you? Oh, it didn't game. sell. It didn't sell well. No, nobody wanted to watch it in the theaters. <laughs> I guess cock ping pong competition comedy wasn't a popular idea. And also, people probably thought it was a ripoff of Dodgeball, which was still recent in people's minds. But th that was a... like a, Last time I checked, that was like one of the lowest rated Wii games on the uh, Wii, on the Metacritic. You know, when people actually took that seriously. Yeah. But yeah, that that's a shitty game. Yeah, don't play it. Like, seriously, like, most of these games, like, just, that's all I can say about them. Don't play them. <laughs> All speaking right. speaking of shitty games, uh, Eminem's kart racing. <laughs> I remember this forum post of a guy who was like, <laughs> he must have been drunk or something when he was talking about this. He went to a midnight launch where this was one of the games, <laughs> and he was given a free plushie of the yellow Eminem, but he said it smelled like wet dog. And then people were asking, why would you <laughs> go midnight launch for this game specifically? Then he said, I don't know, I thought it was going to be like a fighting game. And then people were like, a kart racing game is a title. It's a fighting game. <laughs> he had to have been drunk. Ex or something. He must have been on something. It says Eminem kart racing in the title. Or another theory. This is a guy whose English is not his first language. And this game would be released in Central America they did not localize it for the language of like say where he is in Nicaragua so they didn't translate Nicaragua. it to Spanish so, I mean seriously midnight launch where you get a wet dog plushie that sounds like something you get in a very very non New York City area I'm sorry that's a bad way of saying it um, wait, wait, a place got... where they don't have customer service as a high priority <laughs> Welcome to Guatemala. Fuck you. Why are you here? <laughs> or was it Nicaragua that I was mentioning? Yeah, Central American countries. They're like the United States, just smaller. <laughs> and less English. Okay. What's the next game? All right. All right. Uh, the next game is Ford Racing Off-Road. That... Wait, wait, Ford Racing? Yeah. Ford as in, you know, the brand name of the truck. That's, I'm gonna guess that's better than the Eminem Racing game. Oh, definitely. Leaks. Like, seriously, like, I feel like I'm driving to soccer practice, but it honestly, feels, it's much better. <laughs> it was like I was driving a real car at 40 miles an hour. Yeah. This is the best pedestrian driving simulator out there on the streets today. I mean, how, it's the best uh, racing game I played. So, that must, so... So, yeah. so that's the top tier of this uh, shovelware list you got. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay. thinking it works? Well, I mean, a very bland game is better than being a shitty game. Mm -hmm. Next that's up, it. Buck... A shitty game can be remembered. Next up is Buck Fever. <laughs> I'm going to make a guess. This had something to do with a movie that came out right no you know those uh arcade games that that uh you know feature you uh shooting like um you know deer but not uh oh cabela's hunting yeah it's basically that but on the wii well, but, mean, the the, but the difference between on the arcades but the difference between that and this is that you have unlimited ammo and you don't have to you know point the gun down at the screen to reload your gun you can just like shoot and your gun will reload automatically so guess that what i did like a lazy yeah, so here's what I did. I just I just kept shooting all over the screen until I hit something. Uh, you just remind me of this video. It's like it, the quote from the video. I have 57 more shots in this four-shot shotgun. <laughs> that, that's how you... It's like a shotgun that can hold four shells, but you got 57 more shots in it. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like that... That sounds like a very... Does it have the word Cabela on it, this Buck Fever? No. Arcade style hunting action. That's all I've okay, got. Okay, so it's sold, that's, it was pre owned for five bucks. That's a poor man's Cabela hunting, so yeah, I can see why it's shit. 
Yeah, but uh, can, but but guess what? There's something really interesting if you swap the first letters of the word buck and fever and you like swap them. Guess what you get? Buck fever. Yep, exactly. <laughs> oh, how many terrible innuendos one can make with that? Mm. You know, because beaver is an innuendo for a woman body part. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I don't know if that was intentional. Probably not, but still, if it was. I bonus, think that was an accident. Bonus points for bonus points are due. That's all I can say. All right, what's the next game? All right. Let's see. Next up is none other than... I'm scrolling down this list because I don't have the games anymore on me. Half of them were given the GameStop. The, of the 50 we, of the Wii Shuffleware games I gave, half of them were given the GameStop. Uh, three of them I threw in the trash, and the rest I burned. <laughs> and well, guess yeah, guess how much I got here. back for the for the twenty for the twenty five Wii games I got. I got. Well, let's see. It's GameStop, so I'm gonna guess two dollars. Five. They were generous, actually. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> like they you saw the, 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 like they saw the price tags from them, and they were like, you know what, we're feeling generous. Rip them off, basically. Yeah, I know. I mean, hell, it's it's shovelware. What were you expecting? I bet they looked all these wee shovelwares. They look at the calendar. Oh, it's not 2010. <laughs> <laughs> oh, any other ones or? Oh wait, right, right, right. Uh, Bigfoot Collision Course. That sounds really awful, but. Okay, Everything about points. it is awful. Like seriously, the frame rate, the care, like the drop, the trucks. Like I mean, it has Bigfoot. It's like a racing in the game with Bigfoot. Holy crap! Who, who are the other racers? Loch Ness monster? No, just no. Oh, I thought it was gonna be one of those cryptozoologist. No, like you know, like the made-up animals racing. That would have been something, but no. The, no, it's actual like, monster trucks racing. Oh, I heard Bigfoot, so I thought it was an actual Bigfoot. No. Let's see. Well, Next... now that's not as interesting. Next up is uh, My Horse and Me. Does it have the word Barbie in it? No. Okay, that sounds like a Barbie game. Uh, I was able to ride my horse, and I was able to wear a, a Samsung shirt in the game. Product placement. Yep, product placement at its best. Uh, and at, when I seriously, I played five minutes of that. As soon as I was doing that, I was opening up paws and claws. Literally, my sister, my sister would love this game. I hated it because it's a pet simulation game. I hate pet simulation games. Oh dear. I don't think we need to know anymore. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Disney sing it. Yeah, that I can already tell. Yeah. It came with a microphone, though. I can, so, you know, that's good. Oh, well, yeah, what are they going to do? Expect people to have, sing in a Wii, Wii remote? That'd be stupid. Yeah. Uh, Truth or Lies? That sounds stupid. Another uh, microphone game that came oh, with a microphone. Dear. Me and Jailer Man came here and he been, took so much stuff. They took my mom, my dad, my brother, my child voice. I had to borrow this one in the closet. This voice here. This is... <laughs> You're borrowing the voice. But they also took some of my stuff. Ooh, I was so mad. All they left was this thing. It's pretty useless, I think. Take it and try it out. But please, save my family. Get me my stuff and my original voice back. Ah, uh, what? God damn it. Well, I mean, they're right. It is pretty useless. Yeah. I was hoping it was a master sale. We kind of need those. Like, seriously, I want to promote Vegalist. <laughs> so, anyway. Oh, uh, so, uh, speaking of shuffleware, uh, Ninja Breadman. The classic shitty game on the Wii. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is just... No, no, no. Just you wait. This is just scratching the surface of what I just played. Oh, there's recently. worse. Yep. So, uh, you know how you were talking about the palette swap games? Uh, I was playing Anubis 2. Oh. Literally just Ninja Brand Man. But just with different models and level layout. 
And then Rock and Roll Adventures. Also. The game. same exact game! <laughs> we, who are you playing as, Elvis? Yeah. Oh, okay. He seemed the most interesting. Like, I was like, you know, this guy looks like Elvis. He's got he's got to be good. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm my God. Know. Like, seriously, I played three of the same game in a row. I could have just, like, like I could Oh my god, I was so pissed. <laughs> Just imagine next year. Okay, so uh, Ludacris had me play Madden 09, Madden 10, and Madden 11. <laughs> FIFA 13, 14, 15, these are all the same game. <laughs> well, so, I mean, sure, it has Brett Favre in it, but still. Yeah. So next up, uh, let's see, uh, Billy the Wizard Rockin' Broomstick Adventure. Is that another Ninja Breadman palette swap? No. Actually, oh. no, it's not. It's, an, it's a racing game, but it was made by Data Design, so it's shit. <laughs> How nonchalant you said it. That was great. Okay, so let, I'm going to just... So you know the nunchuck? Yeah. So um, here's the thing. <laughs> um, In that game, now normally you would... It's a racing game, so of course you would use the nunchuck to steer. No, you use the nunchuck to tilt it up or down to, depending on where you want to go. And you press the Z button for gas. I don't like that. I threw it in the trash can. It was one of the three games I threw in the trash can. Like, it's... It makes more sense for a racing game with the Wii remote to just have the Wii remote sideways and use it like a steering wheel. Yeah. It works for Mario Kart Wii. It works for Excite Truck. Excite bots truck racing is like those are great games mm -hmm. yeah but instead they decided to no we're not gonna do that <laughs> next up is a uh, mini desktop racing and oh my god this game is one of the worst experiences i've ever had okay so you control tiny cars lit in in a room filled out with office supplies and it just doesn't work like the, like you tilt the Wii remote to steer, but the controls are so loose. The tracks are so, the turns are so tight and they, and you can fall off so many ledges that it's just, it just doesn't work. It doesn't. It's just, I, oh. I think there was an actual like toy car racing game where it shows you like racing in like a house and it makes it look like you're the toy car and it's huge and everything. I. I think that's the same game maybe but the one i remember actually looked competent so that was probably a different game and this is the drunk uncle version of that game yeah that sounds awful mm -hmm. uh jelly belly beans ballistic i already hate it just by the title alone yep it's basically uh it, it's basically like a type of pinball game and it's uh not a good one i didn't think that was possible yeah, the only good ping pong game I've ever seen pinball. on the Wii was that. Oh, pinball! I heard ping pong. I'm sorry. No, it's not, sorry. no. I wish it was a pinball. ping pong game. Like it's pinball. How do you mess up a pinball? I don't game? know. That's I don't amazing. Know. Next up is um, and I can't believe I actually played this um, Gummy Bears Magical Medallion. That sounds like the epitome of shovelware did you ever want a uh, 2d uh, platformer starring a fake bear well uh if you didn't bad news i got some for you i uh, want to do this if i wanted to play a platformer as a bear i'd play banjo kazooie yeah wait uh... next Why, uh... is there a Winnie the Pooh platformer that i don't know of nope next okay. up uh gummy bears uh, mini golf yeah a golf game. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's a, it's actually the second best play, game I played. I still threw it in the trash. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I was harsh. I didn't care. This is the second best game of this pile of shit, but it's still shit. <laughs> oh my, this is... You're the best reviewer ever. I can't wait to hear you do music album reviews. So yeah, this... uh. This album, <gasps> Spinal Tap, is called Shark Sandwich. I called it Shit Sandwich. Just throw it in the trash. <laughs> oh, crap. So One I... time I don't pay attention. Don't worry, we don't need her. I kind of needed her. 
No, we don't. We got, don't worry, we got other people. Are they flyers? No, we got, we got a flyer. Oh, wait, hold up. Ha, so they're worthy of facing me? This will be interesting. Men, we charge the enemy. Now is our chance. Wet the thirst of your blade. No, can you not? Okay, I gotta get Storch down to the to Lajos. Yeah, we need to get that green guy. Yeah, the rest of his team died. <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense that he's dead. I mean, look at him. They were all worthless compared to him. Mm -hmm. They were soldiers. Uh -huh. He's a sniper. Okay, so next so, up, uh, Eminem's Beach Party. There was a... Was this like a mini-game, like Mario Party? Yeah. Yeah. You okay. traverse a, <laughs> you, you traverse an overworld that's laid out on the beach, and you and play. The, and the, the mini games were horrible. You play uh, games like a uh, volleyball, beach ball, um, soccer. It's not that bad yeah. though. I will say it's but better than Eminem's card racing, just not as good as uh, Gummy Bears Mini Golf. Let me guess, you threw that one in the trash too. No, I actually sold it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they actually that took that. was for a result of $1. Eminem's card racing, I burned that in the trash, though. <laughs> Wait, you literally put a fire in the trash can? Yes. No, no, no. I, no, no. I literally took it out back, and I put in all the games in a bonfire. Did you film this by chance? I wish I did. I, I was like, wait, why am I not filming this? Yeah, that would have been a great, like, ludicrous. This is what I think of this Christmas present. Yeah. yeah I mean, no, no, the, no, the three scenarios. One, I sell all the games. Oh, nice. Uh, then the ne the other three I throw in the trash, and then the rest I burn. <laughs> I just burn them because no one's gonna want them. Like seriously, I would yeah. not wish this stuff on my worst enemy. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, what's the next strategy? What's the next shoddy game? Uh, the next shoddy game, Governor, <laughs> is none other than Alvin and the Chipmunks. That already, I that sounds a movie tie-in game. Yeah. By default. Uh, pet hotel for dogs. There we go. Yeah, that sounds like shit. Yeah. I saw the movie. Uh, the movie is not bad. Uh, the game is horrible. Next well, up. Of course. Next up is Boogie. Oh, fuck. That was one of those dancing games where all you had to do was wave the controller around. Yeah, that's all I did. All I did was shake the controller around, spin it in circles. <laughs> My gosh, imagine when you get to the Walking on Sunshine song, and it's like everything's happy, but you're just waving the controllers, like, <laughs> not even trying your darndest. Your face is 0% happy, 100% anger. So you've come, ha ha ha, good, I thirst for a good bout, let us do it. No, can we not? Legos, don't kill him. Don't. Okay, thank God. I remember okay, that was like uh, early on in the Wii library, that was kind of pushed a bit. You know, because, hey, we don't have Mario Galaxy yet, have this instead. Well, that's a, well, yeah, I mean, I can't argue with it, that, with you on that front. Okay, uh, hmm. Fuck, uh. Uh, we'll get to him. Maybe if we... Damn, I was paying so much attention to the shovel work. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was No, no, it's no, it's my own fault. Uh, maybe if... Maybe we should just make a barrier so we can't pass that little area. So have like, you know... Hang on, wait, I've got this. Wait, I got this. I got Angelus it. and Arcady. Oh, okay. I was expecting him to go the other way. No, I got this. If I do this, just have everyone retreat. <sighs> yeah, they'll go for Arcady, and Arcady's a dodge tank, so he should be fine. But Vagilus is up there. Huh? No, no, no. Yeah, no. Oh, wait. Damn it. Well, uh, 50 avoid. I'm sure he'll, he'll be fine. You know, as long as he doesn't, you know, kill the archer, because the archer's gonna go for him. Uh, oh wait. Fuck, I should have not equipped this bow. Um... Well, maybe... Well, I mean, you made a save state ahead of time. Fuck. 
You gotta be kidding me. Oh, you've gotta be. Mm. They okay. all hit. That is impressive. Okay. That's not gonna work. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say something about that. Okay. Let's try that barricade strategy now. Yep, get rid of the big fucker. That's his new name, Big Fucker. Taking a page right out of Bigfoot? Yeah. And then his cousin, Sneaky Fucker. Sneaky. <laughs> Why do you think Bigfoot's so elusive? Oh crap, uh, that close is gonna die. No, I'm gonna block him off. But the archer's gonna go for him. No. Watch. And now... Now the healer's gonna be in danger. No. See? We're fine. The archer will get him. What do you mean? Who's gonna get him? The boss. The boss isn't... You can only oh, go... Oh, I was thinking of a healer to heal Vagilus. I'm sorry. No, no one's... No, no one can reach him. No one is gonna get him. Be quiet first. Alright. This should work now. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. That, this guy gets... And you let that hit you. You are <laughs> Okay, we just gotta get Lajos now. Alright, safe state. No, no, we don't need it. Oh, flippity doo -dah. this is gonna be tough. Don't worry, I just gotta heal her. Hey, fuck, I can't believe you just on this. Uh, All right. great. Oh, great. I'm sorry, I thought this was like Thracia 776 rules where the green unit can attack you. Please. Oh my god, Jesus. Okay, stop. Look All right. The right side, zero crit. Yeah, alright. Let's get this guy. Never on these devils. I will destroy you all. Your cruelty will not go unpunished. You there, lower your bow. I'm here to rescue you. You and never knees would protect an Osterk such as me. Osterk? Never heard of it. You're one of the prisoners here, aren't you? <laughs> You're the only one left. Something about getting killed for sport? Yes, that the Tassel man made me take a bounce. He threatened my family if I didn't fight for him. And when my back was down, he struck me with these of us. Let me fight with you. You're more than welcome to. I'll watch your back, you hear? Thank you, I am Lajo. I'm Storch. Keep alert. Nice I accent. have no idea why I went with the French, like the stereotypically bad French accent, I'm sorry. I mean, it was good, I'm not complaining. I shall hit you with my bird two times. Alright, so we got Lajos. And already I think Vagos is way better than him. Well, hey, at least we have, uh, you know... Another bow know. user? Like we already... Uh, like we more. like we need more? <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, um... Alright. All right, well, RK you can just kill this guy. Later, crueler. My blood t it was a terrible life anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just like, the idea of like, so, Daz was like, I think it was from the show I once saw it called Red Savior, Renegade Angel, where this evil drug dealer is being thrown in a volcano. It's like, oh, and he's dying. It's like, I accept Lord Jesus and my Lord Savior. Yes, nailed it. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mom, Dad, where are you? Storch, calm down. We'll find them. We need to take care of all the prisoners and tend to their injuries. Right, right. I'm sure we'll find my parents. They have to be here. These joke car caravans. My God, this is inhuman. And that stench. How is anyone surviving the journey around Bolero in these conditions? There's even a few bodies. Oh, Dad. I'm sure they're fine, Marlin. Trust me, they can't. They can't not be. Storch, I found them. Larissa, oh, it's that one girl that we lost. Larissa, you're still here. Bring them here. Mom, Dad, you're all right. Bye. Oh, go. go. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, wait. You want him or? Oh, wait, no. Yeah, you had him. I remember. By God, you're the ones that saved us. Marlin, Storch, what are you doing here? Oh heavens, I'm thankful you're both safe. Oh heck, Mom. 
How do you think we feel? Even in jail, you're worried about us. It's a mother's duty to care for her children, isn't it? I did not expect to be freed by our own sons, of course. What exactly is going on? Why is there an army here? We visited the house and you were both gone. Owen told us that the jail caravan passed through and scooped you up. We ran as fast as we could. I wasn't going to let them take my family. What? You did this on your own? I, I, I don't know what to say. Storch, I'm sorry about what I said. But I am worried about what happens next. The law was broken. We failed to pay the taxes, and now we're fugitives. Ain't nothing gonna happen to you now, Dad. We're gonna end this. These taxes just ain't fair. We gotta fight back. We are gonna liberate Bellaro. Liberate Bellaro? Is that the kind of ideas that my boy has? What has he done to my sensible son? Dad, what are you saying? You're bearing witness to what happens when Graydon gets his way. We want to change that. Huh. <laughs> the ideals of the naive youth. You'd throw your life away for some cause. Risking your lives, making your parents worry. Why can't you boys just earn an honest living back at home? Well, I agree with you, dear. I can't help but say the situation has changed. We can't keep up. We'd have to sell everything, and even then it ain't gar a guarantee. We'll find a way. We've pulled through tough times before. This is no different. We'll pull ourselves up by our bootstraps, eat grass if we have to. But sending my sons to war, I can't support that. Dad, we, we aren't gonna kneel over because some noble tells us to. Heck, we're gonna fight this thing. I've been saying this from the start. We can't just accept things as they are, or else we'll all be in jail, rotting away. Is that what you want? Storch. I know that you try to be a good son to your mother and I. And frankly, you are a good son. But the path you've chosen to achieve the, those goals that protect us, it's dangerous. I don't want to see you both die for this. We will find another way. What other ways are there? If we don't fight back, we'll just live in hiding. Living in fear is hardly living, Dad. A good life is earned, not given. We gotta fight to protect that. This whole war against Graydon is bigger than our family. It's about all the families in Bellaro. You see how many others are here? Families everywhere ripped to bits. If I can help ourselves out and all of them, well, heck, that's a good thing, ain't it? You're stubborn like your father. I will get- wait, aren't you the father? Yeah. No, he is. Wouldn't it make more sense for him to say, like, you're stubborn like your mother? Or uh, like no, me? That, yeah, that sounded a bit- Yeah, that, that's, that doesn't sound proper. Which is strange is coming from us who can't even speak the language <laughs> to- No. I will give you that, Storch. I apologize for my outburst. If you truly think this is the best way to end things, I'm not going to stop you. I'll do what I can to support you. But remember that I don't want to outlive all of my sons. I've tried to shield you, but if you want to fight, so be it. Alright, I've heard you out, Dad. It's clear you don't agree, and I can't say I blame you. I'm not fighting for fun, for glory, <laughs> for fun, or for glo or any of that. I just wanted to be like how it was. You're an adult now and can make your own choices. I guess I was reconciling with my boys growing up and not needing their father anymore. Before your mother and I moved to Malaro, I was a soldier and saw a lot of my friends, good men, all die. I didn't want to have to live through that, so we became farmers. After Augustine died, those dark emotions resurfaced, and I didn't know how to handle it. I became worried, overprotective, overbearing. You probably think I'm some ignorant old man, and maybe you're right. So are my sons, and we're a family. We need to be able to work through our differences, and maybe I wasn't willing to. I see. I understand now. Thanks, Dad. Storch. Uh, darn, I forgot his voice. Storch. Someone is here to greet you. He's a noble. To see me? What for? Beats me. He is waiting now. All right, excuse me. Be safe, dear. Ah, uh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm just no. I'm just saying. Ah, and this is the hero of Port Irene himself. You did a fine job saving the prisoners. A true man of the people. I'm just doing what needs to get done. I see. You've certainly made a name for yourself by simply doing what needs to get done. Just who are you, anyway? Storch, that's no way to talk to a noble. <laughs> that woman. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. With whom do I have the pristine honor of speaking with today, my lord? <laughs> Pay no mind to your manners, Storch. Manners of the court can be learned. I am Lord Titus, son of the deceased Lord Vespasian, and nephew to Lord Graydon. This is Helga, my trusted bodyguard. Well met. Pleasure. And it is met well indeed, Storch. For I am sure you are wondering why we are here. Yeah, normally I'd be skeptical of Graydon's family showing up like this, but you came only with a single soldier to meet us, and only a small force behind. You're not my enemy. You learn fast, Storch, that's correct. But why? My father was killed by Lord Graydon, and the assassination was covered up. You see, Storch, my father was also a man of the people, and did not agree with Graydon on the heavy taxes levied on the people. Fearing a loss of influence, my father was slain before he could rally troops of his own. The public, however, is unaware. The story they referred was a farce. The truth remains a darkness. Was that his intent, though, to rebel? That I do not know. My father was both smart and cunning. Had he wanted to, I am sure he would have been able to do so. But Graydon appeared to be more worried about the potentiality of a rebellion. He knows his grip on Bellaro is weak. A cornered beast will strike back in desperation. I had heard that Lord Vespin's death was a f was foul play, but for it to be true, it all makes more sense now. How do you know this is for sure? If he knew you knew, wouldn't he murder you too? An astute observation, my dear Storch. For your first question, let's say I have my sources. To your second, he does not. Much like how the sun reveals the morning dew, the truth will not be hidden for long. So that's why you want to fight Lord Graydon, isn't it? Revenge? Revenge. I'd only be fooling myself if I did not claim it a reason for this. But I too, Storch, wish to be a man of the people. I see the suffering. I understand the pain. I want to make Bellaro a better place for us all. When I heard your story, I was moved. A common man from a farm rising up with his friends to take on a corrupt power? It is straight from tales of old myths and legends. I see, so you really think I have a chance? I didn't get into any of this business with the intent of liberating Valera. I just want things to go back to how they were. If grand has gotta go for that to happen, I guess I'm gonna have to keep fighting. Noble and unselfish. Trademarks of a real hero. And yes, I do think we have more than just a shot, Storch. I have studied both magic and war for many years. I'd like to t be your tactician and join in the fight. Helga, of course, is not someone you'd like to meet on the battlefield either. <laughs> just get on with it. Ready to cut to the meat on the issue as always. So then, Storch, will you accept us into your ranks? Together with our combined forces, we can take on Lord Graydon, end the corrupt tax policy, and liberate Bellaro. We will become the envy of Nathan, nay, the continent. This is this all seems so sudden. What if this is a trap? And it is right of you to think so, Storch. But perhaps we can earn your full trust if you place just a little in us up front. Our goals are one and the same, and our skill sets are natural complements, are they not? Hmm, I get it. As we get closer to Graydon, your knowledge about the region will be more helpful. I don't think many of us here have spent much time in the area. Plus, I bet you know a whole lot about how the army works. 
I picked up a thing or two from our scuffles, but I don't know much about the bigger battles we're going to face. Splendid. My dear Storch, it appears that a fruitful partnership is upon us. And you are most shrewd indeed, for this area is my homeland, and I know it quite well. That is why I suggest we take the battle to Graydon directly. There is a stronghold not too far from here. He would not expect us to take the offensive, given the size of our forces. With all of your exploits of late, you would gather much support from the citizenry for your actions, leaving us with... Look, that all sounds grand all, but I want to tend to the prisoners first, Lord Titus. Can you lend a hand? Prisoners? Ah, oh. uh, yes, alright, I can assist. Good, Esfir, can you help them? I'm going back to see my parents. Esfir? Yes, my lady, my lord, please come this way. You're all safe now. That meanie... <laughs> Uh. Meanie. <laughs> I'm giving him a surfer dude voice, but he talks like a two year old. <laughs> that me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is. I, I hate this guy already. Then again, we benched him yeah. already. Yes, hopefully we don't have to see more of him. That meanie and crueler ain't gonna bother you no more. Ah, uh, to be saved by such use, there is a bright future for this world yet. Please, take this as a token of our thanks. We found it on one of the dead mercenaries. Neat, thank you. But what is it? Please. It looks important. I bet Esther would know. She always knows random things about stuff. Do we? Uh, do my age eyes to see me? That's an earth seal. Yes. When the time is right, it unlocked power. Hold on to it. Keep it safe. I've heard those who battle have a power level or something of the sort. Not everyone can use this after they reach level 10. <laughs> okay, we're getting a little too meta here. At level 15, they may get a unique skill, the sort of special technique that may aid them in battle. I'm sure there's a guy that explains this more in depth. <laughs> My oh, memory is failing. No. <laughs> Pardon his ramblings, but we hope this is useful. It ain't no problem. It's a mighty nice gift for you to give us. I'll keep what you said in mind if we use it. Wow, bro, could you imagine? I wonder if it gives you big muscle. Oh my god, I hate him. I hate him so much. Or maybe you can learn to ride a horse. Who knows what he'll do. Let's go, Marlin. Finally. <laughs> yep, finally. Hey, you there, are you alright? You're free to go now. Thank you for rescuing me. You are banned? It is quite interesting. Uh, you are from Bellaro, right? Yeah, that's right. There's a few of us from other parts of the Empire and some from other nations. Why do you ask? Are you not from around here? Have you heard of the Ustuk? Is that a place? I'm afraid I haven't. I see. Perhaps that is for the best. Those in your Empire who know a spit on us, we are a persecutor of people. How do you mean? How did you get caught up in this? We are a cave dwelling people. I'm sorry, but some places in France for making cheese, they put them in caves <laughs> to age them. So this really makes this guy even better for me. <laughs> we make lots of cheese. They're very stinky cheese, which is why they hate us. We have bad breath. Yeah. Wait, is that about culture? No, it says we don't have good hygiene. <laughs> what a strange persecution complex. <laughs> Centuries ago, there was a great migration of Pochingi during the war. This migration was to the desert. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. To the desert land to the southeast, now known as Mahala. Some Pochingi decided to stop halfway in the mountains on the Nevon Freon. Or there, we tried to establish a state. But we were persecuted and driven to exile in the caves. We live in relative isolation. But recently, myself and others will take on prisoner in Blothia. I saw many of my friends die at the hands of your people. I'm sorry, I don't really know what to say. We're fighting them because what, what they're doing ain't right. I ain't got nothing against you because of where you're from. Thank you. Uh, tell me... 
Will you allow me to travel with you? I will make sure my family is sent home safely. Before this, I was a hunter, but now I've lost everything. We could use all the help we can get, so please feel free to. I don't know any of us have here bear any ill will towards your folks. And if they do, I'll have a word with them. We're all on the same team. I'm a great third for the opportunity, but excuse me if I am more reserved. I am not so trusting of others, but you showed kindness. I will not forget that. Holy crap, thank God. He eats five pounds of stinky cheese in front of everyone. <laughs> and of course, he eats it loudly like uh, the characters from They Call Me Trinity, that spaghetti western, where the guy gets a like a frying pan full of beans and it's like... <laughs> and everyone just stops and stares at him. It was like he's been out on the trail for days. <laughs> it's, yeah, spaghetti western is a good one. Fort Osborne, named after the third lord of the state of Balaro, was constructed to provide defense at the edge of Balaro's shared border with its neighbors Horschat to the west and Alfluk to the north. In <laughs> centuries past, I know I butchered that, shut up in the I comments. <laughs> Internal strife between states was common. Wars for resources, for land, and for the egos of hot-blooded nobles all fought. Fort Osborne is a living relic hearkening back to these times before the most recent Imperial line claimed the throne and united the van. Today, Fort Osbar is still an important piece of Belaro's border guard, but is often used as the last stop before a long journey to the west. Emperor Fuston, Belaro welcomes you. I trust your accommodations have been satisfactory, your highness? Well met, Lord Graydon. Indeed they are, but these are not the times for pleasantries and tea time talk. Let me get straight to the point. I have heard much about the disturbances in Belaro. Lord Vespian's death, a ragtag band of farmers rebelling seeking to end your rule, your nephew Lord Titus joining their cause, it seems you have much on your plate, Lord Graydon. The situation is under control. Indeed, I trust the soldiers I have sent to join your forces will help keep it under control then. Indeed, your highness, they will be most useful in calling this minor disturbance. See to it, the prisoners you have stowed away nearby will return to Bellati with me. I was expecting more from you, Lord Graydon, you know that these criminals must be punished. Yes, indeed, Your Majesty. I will be sure to make up for it by your next visit. Words are empty. Might I remind you, Lord Green, that I do not care who sits on the throne of Bellaro, so long as the Lord of the Say is able to provide for the Empire. I remember that, Your Highness. That would be for the best. I am returning to Bellati. I expect more prisoners on my next visit. When you capture the rebels, send them to me. They will receive their judgment there with the others. Do not fail me, Lord Graydon. Remember the outcome if you do. Indeed, Your Majesty, I shall not fail. With the mind of General Braham, Br Bramhilda, coupled with Bellaro's finest, you have nothing to fear. Hmm, very well. The Emperor, something is so foul here. Why does he need the prisoners? The high taxes are the easiest way to get prisoners, but it also threatens my authority. What seems foolproof has proven to be most costly. However, I am, a pr I am promised a hefty sum for the prisoners, but will it be worth it? Of course it is. I shouldn't be questioning that. No, no, definitely not. But I cannot fail. I am the finest ruler Bellero has ever seen. I will bring Emperor Festan the criminals he seeks. That didn't look like it went well. I've never seen him like this. There is more going on here. Is something I missed, General Leslie? It is not my situation to think, General Brumhilda. But I do make my observations time and again. Excuse me for speaking so openly. Peace, General Leslie. While I am an Imperial General from the capital, I am fighting under your banner. I am Lord Graydon's to command. You're quite kind, General. Whatever is going on is not my concern. We are soldiers, loyal to the end. Indeed. General Leslie, please excuse me. I will see to my troops. Do not hesitate to call me if I am needed. Yes, my men will see to it that rations are sent and their accommodations are made. Please take your rest. We will discuss our plans on the morrow in the War Council. Until then, General. Zoya, Hollis. <laughs> Sister, eh, General Leslie? What is it? Lord Titus has betrayed us. He has joined the enemy and fights alongside the brigand Storch. I'm sorry for that guy. You want Hollis? What? Lord Titus? But why? I am unsure. In fact, I have never been so unsure. Between you and I, the situation concerns me greatly. Not only for Bilar, but for all of Navan. But for now, we wait. Tomorrow, I will meet with General Bramhilda from the capital to devise a strategy to take them down. The Lord Titus? They are a serious threat to Lord Graydon. Get some rest. I don't want you two out of commission for this. We will need every able-bodied soldier. Hi, will General. Hollis, please see to it that our men are prepared. At once, Captain Zoya. 
Sister, this is unlike you. What has happened? It is unlike you for you to doubt yourself or our liege lord. You read me well, dear sister. Lord Graydon's actions as of late are troubling. However, I remember the debt that I owe to Lord Graydon. You may have been too young to remember. Yes, you've told me before. Our parents abandoned us and we were taken in by Graydon and raised in the cap castle. While he did not dote on us as a father may have, he presented us with a life otherwise un unattainable. He saw great potential in us and then trained us into soldiers. I understand that we are both forever in debt. You are correct, my dear sister. I apologize for ever wavering. Please get some rest. Tomorrow we will prepare to end this once and for all. Yes, we will end this. Sister, just one thing. Hmm? What is this, sister? You may speak openly with me. Let's see, I... Never mind. Forgive me. I will see you on the morrow. Hmm. Good night, Captain Zoya. Lord Titus, why must you drive this wedge? This is the least guarded entrance to the Fort Osbar. Not many would know about this. I'm amazed we were able to get here without much trouble. The perks of moving with a small force, Storch. It is easy to go unnoticed. Hidden from even the sharpest of eyes and the keenest of noses. Their guard is exceptionally light, as many are out collecting prisoners. They do not expect anyone to oppose them, especially not here. I spent my t some time here after I graduated from the academy. Commander Gr Garrison has a stout heart, but he's old, and as such, he's as stubborn as a mule. He's a prideful dastard, and his loyalties lie more with this damn building than Lord Graydon himself. Sounds like he ain't the type to get up and switch sides. We best prepare well so we don't get beat. Is there anything else we should know about this fort? There are two entrances that both lead to the same point. It is best we split up so that we don't get pincered by the soldiers rushing. Around from the other side. There may also be many weapons and gold here, unused in prep for war with our neighbors. We should be able to make good use of that if we come across the storerooms. I see. Alright, on your ready. Let's get this over with. Yes. Two arms, thunder, hear my come. Answer me and smite those who dare oppose us and betray the people of Bellaro. Alright, let's take a look at this map. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a map. Okay, so this is supposed to be a pincer attack? Yeah. I take it that we're gonna, like, attack from each of these sides. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought, uh... Alright, Garrison, he has triangle adept. Great. Alright. So let's see, are there any uh, stealables here? Let's see, a light rune, of course I'm gonna steal that, definitely. No, you're not, spoiler. Oh god, uh, bolting, great. Uh, chest key, door key, let's see, nothing, nope. All right, nothing's worth stealing. There are some chests here, it looks like. Uh, all right, so let's, oh yeah, here's, Ty oh, he's a mage armor. He's got dire thunder. <laughs> It's oh. like thunder, but dire. Titus is uh, preferred to me. Brave. Hmm. Mm, and he comes brave. with. And he comes with bolting. And he's got wrath. Oh my god. He's literally like. He's like. He's a preach member from FE4. Oh my Let's god. Let's look at this. Eh. Not good magic. I mean, a mage armor. I'm. I like unique classes, so I guess I'll give him a shot. I mean. Uh, Let's like. Who is a? Uh, oh yeah, we also got a. Uh, oh Helga, another wyvern rider. All right. Wow, you are right. Natsuko's death would be not in vain. Yeah. Titus is bodyguard, quick to anger, but loyal. And let's see. Well, I mean, look how angry she is in her normal sprite. Of course she's quick to anger. Yeah, those eyebrows. Hey, Helga, how's it going? What do you mean by that? <laughs> so defensive. So let's see. Compared to uh, Ruslan, um, who is a... Oh, she's an axe wyvern while he is a lance wyvern. Hmm. Meanwhile, there's a sword pegasus. I see what we're doing here. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, uh, had a sword pegasus okay uh well oh wait he's force deployed anyway so i hmm. well, i mean right. it makes sense with the new characters yeah but uh, yeah everyone that we have is the good ones to have because marlin's shit and lajo is uh kind of like a jigen mm, yeah but well, i mean I, yeah i wouldn't say the jigen okay but, uh, but wait before we get any further i'm actually going to make a safe state here and i want to see are there branch promotions because if there are oh man please dear god Please. No! Oh. 
But there was something I was going to say. It sounds like if you get to level 15, you get an extra skill. Oh, yeah. So I think you should wait till level 15 to promote. Oh, he's level no, 60. So Arcady can do it easily, but uh, yeah, he does it good with his promotion. Yeah, so wait, what, what did, wait, did he get a new skill? No, he didn't. Oh. Yeah, he yeah he always had gentle home and he got this from promoting. Okay, so I yeah, mean, that's what. Let me just check. Oh no, he just doesn't get a new skill. He must yeah, stronger post was a oh, new wait. skill he got. Okay, yeah, we go. what's Vagalus? Uh, well, I mean, I'm uh, gonna wait for him. Yeah, I'm gonna wait, but let's see what he promotes into. Probably a sniper. Yeah, or no a warrior. That's cool. Yeah, warrior. So he can use axes, just like his brother. Or no, wait, his cousin. I mean, his stats look like lot in FE6. Yeah, I mean, like, bed better. I would say. I mean, I feel like lot would have yeah, less strength. He is better than lot. I'd say the only thing that lot had over Vagelis right now is his defense. Yeah. All right, and then let's. I just want to uh, see. I want to just see. Cool. What? Warrior archer is cool. Yeah. I just want to see all the other other classes. Um, Lara, can you please promote it to a mage net? That'd be fantastic. He's, he's, fuck. Ugh. Sage. You just love your mage knights, but oh, my God. yeah, we definitely have to wait for her. This is the worst sage I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, uh, Sri. Um, gee, I wonder what he's gonna promote into. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know. It's going to be a big chungus. Let's see. And it is a ranger. All right. You want to be a no, scribe fo forest scout, knight. A forest knight ranger. You want to live a life of danger. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mar oh, wow. He's not even level 10. <laughs> I can't even see what he promotes into. Well, I'd probably be like a sword paladin, I guess. Or a bitch. Mm hmm. That'd be a great promotion class. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> it sounds like something we'd hear in that uh, Heroes We Don't Deserve. Yeah. So Bosco promotes into a Habadir. Yeah, kind of figured that. Well, I mean, he works with it. Yeah. All right. And then next, uh, nope, can't see Osain yet. Esphere. I guess we can. Let's see. Does she become a rogue or an assassin? Please be I'm rogue. I'm going with rogue. Please be rogue. Please. Thank God. Oh, that's a female rogue, even. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But my gosh, that strength boost. Well, I mean, it's not. Like, oh wow, they even made a unique uh, like thief mo a rogue model for the for the female rogue. Good. That's cool. Yeah, but I mean, like, she doesn't really need strength. I mean, she just needs speed. She got lock touch, so we don't need lock picks anymore. Yeah, like, so he's definitely something we should definitely promote. Mm -hmm. But I'd say we wait till everyone else gets level fifteen. Yeah. yeah, like we're gonna wait until level fifteen. Oh, Sim, let's just see. Bishop, yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah. But yep. now he can use light magic, which I don't think we have any tomes for. Uh, no, fuck. All right. Okay, so What's I the mean, we we'll need him if we don't have the magic. <laughs> I mean, we can buy them, but I don't think we have the money. Uh, uh no, we do. We can. Oh we can wait, buy them. yeah. Yeah, we gotta get money. We're kind of running low. The boss had us had a sealable we red chip. Seal the light rune. No, we got. No, you're right. Actually, that's this is how we're gonna use the light rune. We sell it. I mean, it's four hundred. Like oh come on! We can't even sell it for a good price, even. Hey, hey, that's better than I was expecting. All right, when how I much? The, the original like Fe Seven vanilla. It was like three fifty. Oh really? Huh. Wait, why are we selling the keys? Because we have. Uh, a lockpick. Oh yeah, yeah, we have a lockpick. Uh, I'm sorry, I just think those are a nice thing to have in case, like, say you're on one side of the field and you have to get a treasure on the other side with the thief not being there. And we'll be fine. All right, as far as units go, um, I kind of want to bring Lajos. I mean, Nazar. I mean, am I really gonna use him? I really don't think. Nah. We got Arcady. I'm sorry, Mr. Abe Lincoln. You're not cheesy enough for us. We if need Arc Mr. Cave Cheese French Canadian man. If Arcady dies, then I guess we can use Nazar. 
Well, between the two, I'd rather have Arcady live. Yeah. I mean, he's so good. Like, seriously. Like, when he becomes a hero, he's going to be a really good hero. He's going to be the best hero. Yeah. Now I'm curious what Ty... He's probably going to...